Harrop XR8 206.6. Probably uh, even more front end grip than what the what the SS had, so you can really sort of load it up. But this thing, when the supercharger kicks in, it tends to spool up a lot harder than, say, the Commodore, and it really struggles with trying to get all the power to the ground. Like, you can just wheel spin wherever you want in third gear. A lot of the time, you end up short shifting and getting it into fourth just to try and sort of get drive like the Commodore. But it's even more imperative in this because it just tends to, once it boosts up, you can really just feel like you can just fry the tyres anyway. But again, like a really nice, stable front end of the car that you can load it in on the way in, and it uh, seems quite forgiving.